Hello, thank you for stopping by. My name is Becky and this is Bex Reads and today I'm here to share with you my June TBR. So it is officially halfway through the year. Where has the time gone? I don't have a lot that I'm adding to this TBR because I am not participating in any readathons or read-alongs this month. I mainly just have book club books and arcs that I want to get read and if I get read anything else I'm just gonna mood read my way through June. First up let's talk about my Black Hat Book Hub and Book Pick and that is The Honey Witch. This was Laura's pick and this is a cozy fantasy romance. So in this we follow a young woman named Marigold who is training to be a honey witch but she has this curse on her that nobody can love a honey witch so she's you know, cursed to be alone. How this other young woman shows up in her life who does not believe in magic. And so Marigold is trying to prove to her that magic is real while also like trying to prove that this curse is wrong as well and that she can be loved. That's the gist of what I have gotten from this book. Now I do know Laura has already read this and she absolutely loved it. So I am hoping that I love this one as well. We will be having a guest coven member this month and that is Daphne from Being Daphne and we will be having reading sprints on her channel on June 19th at 7 p.m. EST. So join us on Daphne's channel if you want to start this book, progress in this book, finish this book, read a different book. Whatever you want to do, join us for reading sprints on Daphne's channel. And then we will be having our live show discussion on June 27th at 7 p.m. EST on Laura's channel. So if you read this, join us and discuss it with us. I also have three arcs that I need to finish this month. I have Witchstone, which is a book that I had on last month's TBR that I did not get to. This, I think, is like a witchy horror, like a humorous horror, I think. Listen, I didn't read the uh, synopsis of this. I just picked it up and requested it based on the cover and a witch. That's, that was my motivation. I really need to stop doing that. I also have Masquerade. This doesn't release until July, but I do want to get ahead on my arcs. So this is a historical fiction that is set or inspired by West African folklore, maybe? And I think it's like loosely based on a Persephone myth. I don't know too much more about that other than like this young woman gets taken from her very poor village and married off to a very rich man and she thinks life is going to be great until something happens. I don't know. This cover appealed to me because it's got an elephant on it and it's just very colorful. So hopefully I do have the audio of this which will mean that I get it read quicker. <laughs> I also have an arc for Bound to the Shadow Prince which will be the first Ruby Dixon book I ever read. Um, I don't know much about this other than I think there is a princess that is trapped in a tower and her people's enemy frees her, saves her or something like that. I'm assuming maybe he has shadow powers because it's shadow friends. Listen, I requested it based on the title and the cover. <laughs> So hopefully it's good. And then I also forgot I have an arc for Beautiful Villain, which releases on July 16th. This is a mashup of The Great Gatsby with vampires, I guess. And it's about this woman named Daisy whose cousin goes missing at this very elusive house party. And so when she confronts the host of this party, it ends up being her childhood love who is this Gatsby character who is a vampire. Maybe? I could just be making shit up, but I think that's what this book is about. I requested this for this cover. I did read the synopsis of this, so don't shame me. And I've read from Rebecca F. Kenny before, and I've liked her books, so at least this one I have an inkling about. <laughs> then let's do my two dice rolls and see what kind of prompts. I have not been doing great at reading the books for my dice rolls. I'm just gonna put that out there, but I'm gonna do it anyway just to see what I get. It is a 20, and that is to read a new release, which is perfect because I have all these freaking arcs, so we're already gonna win. 18. We're getting high numbers today. Oh god. 18 is to read a thriller. I know what I'm gonna read, okay? 
The House in the Pines. Why am I going to read this? Because I have an audio hold from my library and I'm like second in line. So chances are I'm going to get to read this book in June. So that's perfect. I have no idea what this freaking book is about. My sister gave it to me for Valentine's Day, Easter, one of those holidays. Um, but I know it's a thriller. <laughs> so we're going to add that to my TBR and get it knocked off. A couple books that I would like to read just because I have this desire to read them at this point. I, if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. But one of them is The Veiled Kingdom by Holly Renee. Look at this stunning embossed cover. Um, I know nothing about this book other than it is a fantasy romance with spice. But I've heard April say she really likes this. Uh, Cassidy from covers of Cassidy said she really liked this uh, so I'm hoping I like it too that that's that's all I that's all. the only expectation I have for this book is please let me like it because it is so pretty what else do I want to read I also hope that I get to reading Thistlefoot this is another one that I have the audio hold from the library and I'm second in line again so I'm hoping that I get this read in June as well. And if I manage to get this read, this one has just been calling to me and it is The Accidental Queen. I know nothing about this either other than it is a contemporary like royalty romance. I picked this up at the book table in Illinois on my road trip last year. I'll link that bookstore adventure log down below if you want to check out all the bookstores that I went to. But this cover caught my eye because she's just stunning. So. We'll throw this on here since it's been calling to me and hopefully I get it read. Other than that, uh, I'm just gonna read whatever my mood takes me to. <laughs> so let me know down in the comments if you plan to read The Honey Witch with us or what is a book that you plan to read this month. But if you don't wanna comment that but would like to let me know that you made it to the end of this video, could you leave me a bee emoji? And with that, thank you so much for watching and until my next video, good luck on your June reading. Bye.